Chapter thirty one of Mary, a fiction. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Mary, a fiction by Mary Wollstonecraft. Chapter thirty one. Mary visited the continent and sought health in different climates, but her nerves were not to be restored to their former state. She then retired to her house in the country, established manufactories, threw the estate into small farms, and continually employed herself this way to dissipate care and banish unavailing regret. She visited the sick, supported the old, and educated the young. These occupations engrossed her mind, but there were hours when all her former woes would return and haunt her. Whenever she did or said anything she thought Henry would have approved of, she could not avoid thinking with anguish of the rapture his approbation ever conveyed to her heart a heart in which there was a void that even benevolence and religion could not fill. The latter taught her to struggle for resignation, and the former rendered life supportable. Her delicate state of health did not promise long life. In moments of solitary sadness a gleam of joy would dart across her mind. She thought she was hastening to that world where there is neither marrying nor giving in marriage. End of chapter 31 End of Mary, a fiction by Mary Wollstonecraft.